Welcome friends to another video, welcome to another review and this time around I'm going to talk about a fragrance from the house of Alexander J. This is the Majestic Vetiver from the Art Deco Collector lineup that was launched last year in 2020. This is one of the three that I have in uh, my collection. I also have the Majestic Vanilla and the Majestic Wood which are abs absolutely amazing fragrances on their own. But today we're going to focus on Majestic Vetiver. Let's talk about the packaging because it's absolutely beautiful. It looks um, like a uh, niche product should look, especially that you pay a price, which um, to be honest with you isn't the most expensive one because the fragrance costs about uh, 120 euros, but you get a lot of things for the money. Uh, you get a lot of uh, packaging, very beautiful, very high quality packaging and also a very gorgeous fragrance also. This is the outer box, the bigger box. You have all the info, everything that uh, might interest you. And with this uh, really, really nice uh, motif. Let's go ahead and uh, let's pull the other box, the box that the fragrance sits in. And this one, as you can see, it's green because this is a vetiver based fragrance. So look how beautiful it looks. Very, very impressive packaging. I know that a lot of people don't uh, really like uh, the packaging of this house. They consider it to be a bit uh, tacky. I don't know why. But uh, to me, honestly, because we are talking about a niche house, this is what a niche perfumery should look like. Not like... Uh, I don't want to give names. <coughs> Creed, <coughs> for example. You know? And also, these are made out of cardboard, but to the touch, they feel like they are made out of wood. Let's open up this box. And inside we have the bottle and a very small brochure with uh, some info about the fragrance and the other fragrances in this line. Look at the box. But now look at the bottles. Because every single bottle in this lineup looks like this. The only thing that's different is the color. But uh, the level of craftsmanship is simply amazing. Very beautiful. Very nice. You have the AJ initials embossed on the atomizer. And you also have a really, really good atomizer. The cap is made out of plastic, but uh, it doesn't feel cheap at all. Overall, a very beautiful, very nice looking box and also bottle. I'm not the biggest fan of uh, packaging, but uh, in this case, I'm going to make an exception. Let's talk about the fragrance because uh, this is the reason uh, why we are here. This was created by Amélie Bourgeois and uh, Sophie Beagiel in 2020 and we have a very interesting composition. In the top notes, we get grapefruit, basil and cardamom. In the heart, we have liatris and coriander. Liatris is a uh, flower that grows in North America. It's uh, also called uh, sparkling star in uh, popular terms. And in the base, we have vetiver, agarwood, suede, and labdanum. Simplistic composition, but the notes are really high quality and they smell amazing combined together. The opening is absolutely amazing. Uh, you get a very, very powerful, zesty, fresh opening due to the combination between uh, the grapefruit note and also the cardamom. And you get some basil sprinkled on them, which makes them even more potent. And um, it gives you a very green type of vibe. Afterwards comes the liatris flower combined with some coriander and then starts um, or basically the show starts for the vetiver. A very green, very sunny, very happy if you want 
luminous vetiver combined with uh, some agar wood and also with the suede and labdanum note which comes and gives a bit of uh, character if you want or a backbone to all the notes very refreshing very uplifting very uh, green type of uh, green flowery type of fragrance uh, smells at the same time very elegant very sophisticated and uh, it simply manages to induce a really good state of mind every single time when uh, i wear at least in my case this fragrance it simply puts a smile on your face no matter how uh, i don't know um, how bad the day went for you i don't know you had a tough day at the office for example or at work this is mostly a fragrance made for warm and hot weather and uh, i see this being um, worn especially in uh, late spring summer and also fall though i worn this fragrance in winter and i had no issues in terms of performance i had no issues with uh, the composition and uh, whatnot but i do see this one because it's a fresh type of fragrance i see this one being worn in hotter days it's also very versatile and very flexible you can wear this one dressed up uh, casually semi-formal at the office for example and also formal at special events i see this one being worn by younger crowds but especially by more mature crowds mainly because um, it's very interesting it has kind of a uh, let's say quirky side uh, this fragrance and and the performance is actually great very good longevity projection wise just like every other fragrance from this house it's moderate but the sillage it's great it simply leaves a beautiful scent trail behind you therefore for me the majestic vetiver is a good fragrance it's uh, quite interesting it smells unique it's something that i never smell to be honest uh, it's a very curious and very interesting interpretation of the vetiver accord which in this case isn't uh, dark earthy and uh, i don't know resonous pungent and whatnot this is very very bright it's very uplifting it's very fresh very aromatic very green and um, with the other notes it simply smells delicious the second main accord in this fragrance is the cardamom note so if you love cardamom fragrances i don't know cartier declaration for example then you're definitely gonna love the majestic vetiver from alexandre j i highly recommend this fragrance i don't know if you can find a sample to test it out on your skin to wear it a couple of times with every single alexandre j fragrance you need to be patient you need to give it um, enough time to develop so uh, keep this in mind it's not a fragrance that you can judge um, upon um, first uh, sniffing or uh, the first time that you you test the fragrance on your skin you need to give it a couple of weeks a couple of months and only afterwards you can um, i don't know uh, gather some conclusions i don't know if you can find samples as i said if you do i highly encourage you to buy them and to test this one out because it's really really nice especially if you need a very good um, warm or hot weather performing fragrance and especially if you want something that uh, smells unique if not i kind of recommend this one for a blind buy but you need to love cardamom and you also need to love vetiver a very good fragrance nonetheless exceptional quality from the house of alexander j exceptional blend exceptional smell a compliment getter so i highly recommend it this pretty much does it for this video guys thank you for watching this is the majestic vetiver from the house of alexander j see you in the next one as always be safe be good peace